Hello everyone, my name is Lucia. Welcome to the second part of the skid steer build. I've already made technological openings in the oil and fuel tanks for filters, refueling and fuel level sensor. And now it's time for the next step with a lot of connections that I have to put together precisely. So let's not waste time and start. thousand years later.
friends, to be honest, uh, so far the front uh, part of the boom arm seems to be the hardest for me because it contains several main connections uh, that affect a lot of characteristics. Uh, also, I'm not an engineer and I feel lack of technical knowledge and cut design skill, so I can design the project in advance because I don't have the whole picture in my mind. And by the way, all the machines, cut programs and controllers are useless without this computer. And mine needs to see first. That's why I constructed this installation. <laughs> it gave me some answers on my questions, but uh, there are still a few left. Pictures from the internet are not too informative, so I decided to use a method that I tested while building my CNC plasma cutter. It's called Find in Your City look at the advantages of the construction, and then adapt them to your project. Yesterday I spent almost the whole day driving around my city uh, in search of a suitable model of a skid steer that I could find in the streets. And I found one, looked at, and so it's time for making my own design. Okay, these pipes, these ones are parallel, this one is horizontal, so now I can fixate them. It's very important because these connections uh, will consist of several plates in different planes and both connections should be totally identical in order for the lift arm to work properly.
Well, now it's already not a washed up with wheels, <laughs> but finally the shape of the loader started to define. Lift arms build might seem easy for you, but it was a real test of perseverance for me with all that measuring, calculating, thinking of uh, configuration, creating several options of the design, choosing, changing and redoing it for several times, then building two lift arms so that all the holes were coaxial and so on. And thinking over and designing the drawings took even more time and force than building according to ready plans. But so far, I do like how the result looks. However, there was some annoying mistake on my part. You have probably noticed that lift arms look kind of unfinished. The reason is that a plate that repeats the contour of adjacent parts was supposed to be here until I realized that I haven't considered a hydraulic cylinder for this assembly. I mean, I put it here while making the installation that I showed you earlier in this video, but this pipe hasn't yet been sewn off. And I assumed that uh, I would shorten the hydraulic cylinder rod by 6 cm and it seemed to fit in there well. My mind was blown by thinking about the articulation of all these plates at that moment and I just forgot about the exact calculation of the hydraulic cylinder insert. Simply forgot. And now, when lift arms are almost ready, I understand that even if I shorten the cylinder rod, its upper hole will be located here, where I have nothing to attach it to. In general, I had plenty of emotions and all of them were obscene. Then I went through all the stages of acceptance and finally realized that a solution does exist in any case. I just need to think it over thoroughly. Either way, I get comments that say you guys are waiting for part 2, so I decided to leave that solution for the next video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Also, please feel free to write in the comments whether you like my design or not, because I need an outside perspective. Okay, that's it. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.